In this video, we're exploring Jaipur. Subscribe to follow along. So if you watched our last video, we're still touring with Harshit. We're actually gonna walk around here the uh, walled city. We're gonna go through a market, do check a couple things, check it out. We're exploring Jaipur, baby. We're just walking through the bazaars and what they're selling is changing and it's busy. And it's just so stimulating in all ways. So it's a good thing that we have our guy with us right now as we walk around because there is a lot of conversation coming to my shop, visit me. So I'm happy we have Harshit here. I say he's like the coolest guy we've met in India so far. It might have to do with his backwards baseball cap. So we are walking down a wedding bazaar, so we're seeing what the men and the women will wear. So we're going to see some saris and some suits. We just found little puppies, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that was adorable. <laughs> we're into the bride section which is most of the bazaar, he says. Holy smokes. There's a lot of wedding stuff. Beautiful textiles, beautiful colors. That was a nice bazaar. Thank you very much. Lovely meeting you, take care of yourself. Thank you. Lovely meeting you, take care of yourself. Have a good day. See ya, thank you. We might feel a little lost without our, our nice guide, but we're gonna... Do a bit more We're gonna do it. We're gonna go see the most iconic thing, I think, of In. Jaipur. We're almost there, but wow, we're passing some beautiful markets and flower stands. How they make that the cool necklace, they're just like weaving it by hand. There's some really cool stuff going on, and everything's going on all at once. <laughs> Let's cross the street, we're almost there. Tuk -tuk, motorcycles. Ooh. Hi. Hi. This is, I'm at least going to this crosswalk. I don't know if that matters, but I went. Okay, that was actually really <laughs> easy. Nice. So it probably makes it look like we're being wewes, but we're, it's we're actually. We're not being wewes. We're just showing the reality is across. Yeah, but the that street. was an easy one, is that my was point. Very <laughs> there it is, <laughs> the pink wall. So I haven't actually mentioned it yet in this video, but I actually spent two months in Jaipur back in 2017. Mm -hmm. and Without so, me. Yes, so this is my first true. time seeing this. So but she's seen this before. It's really neat being back here. And I'm happy Keith gets to see it. Yay, being back here with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tiny. It's a little staircase. This thing right here, iconic Jaipur. So this is called Palace of the Winds or Hala Mahal, I believe, and we did actually pay 400 rupees to be up here in this viewpoint. Not usually what we do, but no. I think it's worth it for this. Look at There's that. a cafe, cool. it's called the Windy View Cafe, and I mean, this is fantastic. It's pretty cool being up here. It's so pink and colorful. Also, we realized we came in the afternoon, it would probably be like even more majestic if you come in the morning when so the, the sunlight light, hitting it. Yeah, hitting it like that. Versus right. the sun's behind it. But it's still very, very beautiful. Just a tip if you're really into photos. Wanna get a drink? Yeah. We are having more sugar and caffeine, but it's cold and obviously we had to buy something if we were coming to this cafe, so a Coke it is. Drink more water. So the Hawa Mahal here behind me was built in 1799 and it has over 900 little windows and it helps with cooling the inside of the palace. Pretty neat architecture and design features for the 18th century.
Well, it's five o'clock, but it's almost like it's gotten quieter. Like there's still honking and people everywhere, but I feel like it's more peaceful right now. It also think? could be the temperature's a bit cooler. Right yeah, now. it's a little bit cooler. It's the evening. Let's see if we can walk around and see some more stuff here. <laughs> yes, those were giant ice cubes on a scooter. Four hundred and four rupees for entrance to the Janta Mantal. Did I get that right, Keith? Janta Mantal. Yeah. Close enough. Um, I do remember doing this last moon when I was in Jaipur, but it was literally the first thing I did when I arrived. So I'm excited to go check it out with Keith. I think it's like different astrology things and just a peaceful park. And by astrology, she means astronomy things, and it's called Janta Mantar. It's one of the one of the main sites to see here. It's got some like really old sundials. So this park is actually a collection of 19 astronomical devices that were built in the 1700s. Neat. And what's behind us, Dev? This is the world's largest sundial. The world's largest sundial is right there. And this one right here is a more elaborate <laughs> instrument and attracts the sun. See that metal plate in the middle? Casts, casts a shadow on the sphere at the bottom here. Also, I was correct, there is some astrology here. So I think we should go find our astrological symbols because there's different sculptures for each one. What's your astrological signature? Uh, goat man. What's that? Capricorn. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, it is. Looks like there's a bit more alligator slash squirrel in this goat man. I guess maybe Capricorn's like a, not goat man, but something goaty. I'm a Libra, and mine's an actual guy with scales. Sometimes it's just the scales. I get a whole guy this time. You get a whole guy. <laughs> All jokes aside, this was a really impressive place with instruments allowing the observation of astronomical positions with the naked eye created in the 1700s. It was also a really peaceful place in the middle of the city. Another thing that's really popular here in Jaipur is actually hand block printing and it's a big industry so we're going to get the chance to learn about it and try it ourselves. We first learn a bit of history of hand block printing in Jaipur. This traditional textile design process has been practiced in Rajasthan for around 500 years. Block printing was in fact introduced to the Jaipur region by the Chipa community. But then we learned about the process and tools used. Look at these guys working behind us. It's like, they're moving so fast. It's actually it's quite hard. It's beautiful too. Like, and when we were learning about how it works and stuff, he always referred, it's artists. It's all artists here that work and put yeah. it together. And no, I'm really impressed by the actual blocks themselves. Like they take some serious like carpentry work to be yeah. so precise and, perfect. and work well together. And he was telling us all the different steps. So because neat. it's not just one block, it's like four different ones that layer on top of each other or yeah. more. And so they need to be precise because the carpentry work is also a match with it. Well, first of all, there's a lot more to block printing than I thought there was. <laughs> It's also so neat that we just got to see some of the finished product. It's beautiful. We're just learning about the rapid colors, which is what we're gonna use to make it. And he's got this recipe book and it's like a chemist makes the color. You have to make it an hour before and after eight hours, it'll change colors. So it's, so it's, it's literal it's, chemistry. It's so good, you have to use it over that, those eight hours, right? Yeah, so it's so cool, wow. So this can be a scarf or a runner for a table, which I think I'm gonna do, and Devin's gonna make herself a scarf. I'm gonna make one for my parents. My attention to detail is not so hot, so I'm really hoping I can make this work, and it can be a scarf I can wear for the rest of the trip. And hopefully my attention to detail is not overbearing, and I'm able to actually complete this in time. <laughs> so when you tap it uh, in here, it's a just a gentle tap, okay? No press, okay? Gentle tap. Okay. One. Okay. So keep it here. Keep it under the white line. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then. So. Punch, punch. Yes. A little harder next time, Dev. It worked. Nice. I got a little spot right there. That makes it mine. This looks maroon, but apparently it's gonna turn blue, which is really cool. But that's why it takes so much work to know all these colors because they change as you wash them and process them and stuff and they dry. This 
It's pretty difficult to get it lined up properly. Oh, some serious concentration, Dev. It's a lot harder than it looks. Oh, that's a good one. Yours is much better than mine. I got some. No, well, that's not. Some true. hiccups. So do I. Like here. That's a bit of a hiccup. I'm moving on to the center. I picked my beautiful print. It's a little flower, and I'm gonna do them. He mentioned in a straight line would be better for a scarf, so I'm gonna do them in a straight line. This is maroon, it's gonna be the outline. So he said tap, tap, and then test it out. There's different print. So he said tap, tap. I'm excited. I go for it. Moment of truth. Okay, I know we make videos, but it's also fun making stuff, and we don't get to make stuff very often, and this is, it's rewarding. We're gonna get this thing at the end, which is pretty sweet. It's difficult, it's not easy. It's actually quite a skill, and the whole thing is an art because it's quite complex. This is where things get a little more complicated. We're filling in certain parts of our pattern. So this right now, I'm doing the leaves in blue. So I did one, we'll see how the next one goes. So now I'm doing it upside down, so I have to line it up differently, and it takes a couple of times to get used to it. Let me see if I can get this. Nice. Pretty good. So far so good, we're making good progress, and I'm keeping it simple here. Proud of this. They're gonna change colors next time we see them. Nice. It's been about five minutes and it's already dried and changed a bit of colors. It only needs five minutes of sunlight and then it's like dry, it's fine. Now it needs to be treated. A bit of sulfuric acid and nitrate. Okay, when he will add this in the water, you will see the color will start changing immediately. Within two minutes, all the colors will be changed. Look at this. I wanted a scarf to wear while I'm here, so this will be my... Look at that. It's great, it's beautiful. Didn't take too much time, did it? No. This is my guy. Still a bit damp, but like, look at this. Look at the colors on this thing. So cool. We waited like 15 minutes or so, and it's done. We get to keep it. Look at that. It's so nice. I'm proud of this, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm proud. Are you proud? Good job, that was fun. We just finished that tour, and I have to say that was really relaxing and really soothing. And I we have would, memories from it too. I would totally recommend it. You get a souvenir. Yeah. So we've got the Airbnb link as well as the website below if you want to do this. Ultimate urban adventures. Well, you're in Jaipur. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. All right, we'll walk through here. Another day exploring for Keith and Dev. We got ourselves a tuk-tuk driver, which was nice, and he's really friendly. We made it to the water palace. Yeah, one of the many the things palace. to see here. And it's very beautiful. Definitely like a touristy stop, mm -hmm. but it's gorgeous. It's a palace in the middle of a lake. Yeah, and so it like has this really nice walkway and we're going to like, we're sort of the, at the end of the city and then we hit the mountains and we're gonna go up. It's very nice. There's food trucks everywhere here. Our next stop is Amber Fort, and there is a large staircase that we're gonna walk up to go check it out. I just noticed there's a wall that goes all the way up on that side of the mountain. It's actually really quite nice here. There's gardens, families. So on, today we've seen uh, camels, elephants, cows, obviously, and now goats. So we're seeing all the animals, It's kind of funny. <laughs> So this has all been before the actual entrance fee to the fort. So there's like a whole bunch of the fort you see before you actually even go in. I'm really liking this architecture though. Look at this old palace, castle. Devon today can get in for free. I think it's women are free today maybe? Perhaps, something like but, that. Uh, we only need to buy one ticket, which Right is now awesome. it's 500 rupees for myself for one person. You can also buy a guide, of course, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, I think we'll just go explore ourselves, but yeah. half price, I guess. That's yeah, cool. it looks pretty sweet. 
We made it, and it's very detailed and beautiful, and in the shade it's cooler. Still lots of people, but it's nice. So, learned a few facts about this place, and over 5,000 people visited a day. That's a statistic from 2007, so I bet it's increased quite a bit. And the other thing is in 2013, it be the Amber Fort became a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is also pretty awesome. This is the nicest historic sort of palace site we've seen so far. Yeah, it? it's stunning. And I love seeing all the local tourists and I guess Indian tourists for that matter. I don't know where they're from. Um, traveling and, and seeing their own country yeah. too. I uh, we've noticed on our Indian travels like how many people from India see other parts of India, which makes yeah. sense because it's so huge. It's huge, it's, it's lots really to awesome. offer. We're gonna go inside. Let's go inside. I believe this is the Shish Mahal. We're inside the palace quarters. I heard about this from our guide, Harshit. Um, he was telling me that all these little reflective things, those are mirrors. And they cover the ceiling and they cover the surface of, of this of this sort of like wall area. And it just shines. It's brilliant. beautiful. Do you want to take a picture? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, when one person starts, they all do it. <laughs> Welcome. You get a lot of selfies, yeah, so like you can't say, oh no. See, this is the start of Okay, well, awesome, then we gotta go, okay, Keith? Yeah. So, I can imagine in the morning when it's less busy, this place would be really peaceful, but as tourists, you get asked to take selfies a lot, so you either have to say no right away, or a bunch of people ask, and so of course we said, sure, and now we've had a ton of selfies. It's hard to say no. But people are so nice, so it's hard to say no. Especially little kids. Yeah. <laughs> We, we were about to go into this little door, but it's a latrines with a lot of people. Yeah, maybe. Let's skip it. <laughs> what if it's interesting? Hi. I want to go take a look. <laughs> Hello. Oh, peace and quiet. In the, in the bathroom. Thank goodness for the ancient latrines. <laughs> oh, oh, this is the actual toilet. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, at least it's not in use right now. Oh, a window! Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's do it! We found a dead end, but what's really cool about this fort is you can literally go anywhere. Nothing is blocked off, so you Where? can spend a lot of time here. We're, um, we're casually getting lost here in mazes. It's like non-stop, go wherever you want. Really, it's like a maze. <laughs> There's stairs everywhere, hallways. Look, I can go down those dark stairs if I want. Or I can go in this room, there's no one over here. Absolutely nobody. Maybe this is why you do get a guide. And now I got an echoey room. More stairs down into, oh my gosh, that's scary. Jesus. So that goes into the haunted ancient crypt. <laughs> I lost you. I literally thought I lost you for a moment. I was like, oh no. Let's keep going this way. It's actually yeah. really quite nice here. And it is so big too. Like I don't even think we've covered a portion of it and we've been wandering around getting lost for like the last hour. Yeah, it feels like we are in this ancient compound. And There's music down there, it's like really cool, it's echoing through the walls, it's a maze. Well the sun's setting and we sort of want to do a couple more stops before the sun sets for sure. Alright, so let's head. Well this is cool, another view we haven't seen yet. Wow. This is stunning, but we gotta go meet our driver for the next thing. Alright, see you in a bit. Outside, yeah, we'll be out there. Oh. Big stairs. 
Yes. All right, we made it. Whoa. Oh my God. What's it feel like to be back, Devin? Pretty surreal. Tell us more. I was here in 2017 and I remember this fort was really beautiful, so I wanted Keith to come and it's still stunning. You get to see all of Jaipur from up here. So the pronunciation is Nahargar Fort. And there are tickets and there is a cost to entry. And since we have like about an hour, 45 minutes until sunset, I think we're gonna buy tickets. Yeah. Uh, so women are free today because it's International Women's Day. I can't believe I didn't realize. That's amazing. We're now inside the fort with this cool art sort of mirror big? thing display. <laughs> Very narrow, like this is shoulder width. Oh, we're trying to get on top. Oh, the fort. Oh. oh my god, careful. That's unbelievable. We're suspended over the city right now. I feel like we're hanging over this. Like, it feels so close. Also, the lighting is beautiful right now. Oh, it's like hazy and, and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Top of Jaipur. What a wild place. <laughs> wild place. Yeah. 4.5 million people live here. And it's, it's a dense city. It's been cool exploring this and, and seeing Jaipur after all these years of hearing it your, from you. Your sense, def senses definitely get heightened here. Mm -hmm. Not just monkeys that eat the garbage, it's also the cows. Well, no, 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 no hate. Oh, only, <laughs> only that. Oh, right. So, okay. 